All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf. You're wondering how all my adventures are doing. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. Um, yeah, we're doing Ancient City now. Yep, that's the right one. What does Ancient City give go wise? 75 gold? Okay, that's not too bad. But yeah, still using the same level 50 gear. Uh, okay, we're still getting our buff. 80 points. Ancient City, I don't remember being like too difficult. Well, no, the first boss of this place does, uh, does a really annoying, um, effect that decreases defense. Does a really mean defense decrease. Oh yeah, I forgot their aggro is like really high in here too. I hate this dungeon effect. Like this dungeon effect randomly pops up in dungeons. This like hardcore fog effect. Oh, where the hell did you come from? Were you inside that dude? It's a crazy sentence I just said, but you know. Uh, anywho, I'm hoping, um, well, I guess I should talk about this. Um, so probably around, let's say, the 29th, if I remember correctly, is when their little, um, milestone ends for the, um, what is it? I'm trying to stay alive here. Their little milestone for... Purchase stuff. The pay to win stuff. I think on the 29th that ends, then we get Archer. No, not Archer. Mage. My brain. Like I said, I'm trying to survive here. <laughs> but we get Mage uh, rework. Let's see. Is that when it's supposed to end? The whole bonus little spender event. That's what it was. Spender event. It's a, yeah, it ends in three days. And at the end of this, I'm pretty sure they're going to give us uh, the Magic Archer rework. Because that's what they did for, um, for the Archer and other stuff. So I'm curious to see how this goes. I took a look at some of the skills for uh, Mage and Wizard. I'm interested to see how everything works out, what they change, what they do. Yeah, I was looking a little bit late on draw trying to switch weapons. The only real way I'm worried about this dungeon is because these enemies do have, well, the ants in here have stuns. So I got to be careful of that. And I can get like ganked it very easily. So those are the ones that I'm going to have to be careful on a little bit. What's this? Ah, uh, just an escrow. Useless for me. Come on, Bagel. We have things to do. Lots of things to do. Uh, it's almost uh, the 31st, too. So I gotta get this series uh, 
moving more. Because Grand Blue Fantasy is coming out real soon. I really should start using my charge abilities more. My brain is just not coping with it right now. Hello? I say for some reason it wasn't going to let me use it. Okay, now the fog effect finally goes away. Yeah, the mushrooms are like a visible gimmick where I'm pretty sure it lets you go invisible through the whole dungeon, right? Can't drop anything, did he? Nah. We're, we're coming out to the first, first enemy. I'm hoping they don't ruin too much of Necromancer's kit because I actually like how Necromancer works. The only thing that's lacking on Necromancer is, like, AoE. Personally, that's the only thing I feel like is lacking on them. Yeah, sent that man to the Shadow Realm, didn't I? Part of me was kind of hoping Archer would have got like a, a second pet. One that had like taunt and stun. Maybe like a bear was what I was thinking. That's kind of what I was hoping for. Did we get that? No. <laughs> uh, let me resummon my uh, panther. And we're going to have him go distract the boss while I get rid of all the enemies around it. Thank you. Oh, what the whoa? What skill was that? Hold on, I gotta go look at that skill. Because he just teleported to me. Yeah, that defense increase is nothing to, nothing to laugh at. Because that, that enemy has some serious, like, decrease. Let's see.
I was say honestly, I can start swapping this gear out. Damn it, why is there only magic defense in there? Um, what the hell do you have? Fucking reflection damage. Oh my god, I did not know he had this early on. Okay, that... That explains some shit. <laughs> Gotta love that. And reduce all physical damage for six seconds. <sighs> for fuck's sakes, dude. I didn't think this was early on because I've never really had the trouble with him on my druid. Like I said, I will always bring up Druid because I have never had trouble with that. I need to switch to a... I want to say a defensive title. Uh, so I, I was going to try and kite him, but this could actually be an issue. I would actually have to try and kill him. Oh, there's a reflect. Okay, don't hit. Okay, that's auto death. Seems auto deaf either way, because he, he seems like he catches up to me pretty fast. Oh, he crits a lot, too. Oh, my character keeps turning around. Yeah, that's the thing as well. Oh, I can't move. Oh, I can't move. He has a stun. I should run down here. Oh, he has... He has distance abilities. Like a long... A lot of long range. And apparently he can go through walls. Excuse me? Bro just defied all physics and logic and said, You know what? This wall doesn't exist for me. I'm going this way. Okay. So, obviously I'm going to start have to start increasing my gear early. I was kind of hoping I could like wait a little bit longer. <sighs> but this is going to be a nuisance. Everything is very expensive for my level right now. That's one of the big issues. So I can't just go out and buy defense increases. Hmm. I say damage would actually I don't have to do this right now I can come back when I hit level 65 I would mix out on XP on my two like levels hmm what would be a great way to tackle this Because here's the thing, I can keep going until I get, like, better gear out of this dungeon, too, to replace the gear that I have. There hasn't been a reason to get rid of the level 40 yet. Well, 40 sword, because that movement speed. Hmm. 
mano. If I can... Yeah, okay. If I can kill the enemy for a um, mutated dungeon. I don't think I can do it now, but you can check and see. Because maybe we're strong enough to just, you know, kill it faster now. So, screw it. Let's try it. We could try and get our yellow weapon. I mean, we have uh, enough chests to try. I'm not sure how many he's going to give us, though. That's that's the biggest issue, trying to figure that out. We can try for the yellow weapon. Alright, let me log into my... Mutated dungeon fodder. But sometimes you gotta take detours if you're stuck. That's just life, man. So, I'm gonna wait for the character to get on. Okay, there we go. Change ray formation. Let's see. Let's see how it goes. So, if I remember correctly, mine is the golem, right? Yeah, mine's is the golem. They miss a lot more often because they're out of my level. So that's the best thing for this. But I will say this. The emblems do sell for quite a decent amount. They can sell up to like either 100 or 200 gold each. I would say 100 each. If you're going to put two sacks in there... It is going to end up being um, 200. Because some people can't do them, some people can. Uh, should I grab these? What level are they? Level 50? Okay, that's not too bad, actually. Not versus my yeah versus my hand that isn't too bad. Why am I hitting these things? Oh yeah, I like to create space. So I can kite outside. Because if I could make my uh, level 50 bow, it sh Well, yellow bow. It should actually take away a lot of my issues. Because then I can start plussing that up. Oh yeah, he has a suck-in attack. I keep forgetting about that. Whoa, what? Wait a minute. They didn't even show his damage number. It just showed that I got chunked. It only showed that I got chunked. But they didn't show the damage numbers. I know I was getting hit by a two, 2,000, but did I get hit by another 2,000? Why didn't that show? Okay. Well, shit. Damn, dude. Ranger is fucking abysmal right now. It's one of those... I feel like this is one of those classes that you definitely gotta over-prepare for.
well, as a new player, as as a player who's been playing for years and have a whole bunch of resources on a different character, you wouldn't have to like really over plan for it because you can buy like all of your skills with your gold from your other characters and stuff like that. But as a new player, God damn, bro. I would tell you this, there's definitely easier classes. I would say Assassin is definitely a lot easier than Ranger. Assassin's always been easier than Ranger. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the smart choice, turn these off for now, and we are going to avoid that quest. And go straight into the next island. Which is down here. I said, there's no need to keep brute forcing it. Because this island has the sprites that I need. Brute forcing just keeps throwing my head against the wall. But, um, you can use the teleporter to get here. I'm going to end up teleporting directly at this place anyway. Can I just teleport to Captain instead? Because I'm pretty sure Captain has the closest... Stuff. Yeah, there he is. So, if you guys want to know how to get here, Captain, right here. Oh no, that's see this dude down here. Yeah, Porter. There he is. Pretty sure this guy is the one that sends us to the island. Yeah, it's definitely him. So this will be your next level 60 quest. As soon as you get here, you would do that. And that's how you get there. For free. For free. Why am I still in this party? Am I out of my mind? Uh, don't be in parties when you're... When you're outside of uh, mutated dungeons. It's fatal. You lose a lot of XP. And it won't count it towards like your missions. It's a very bad idea. I almost made an oopsie and lost like XP as I was doing this. Um, if if you need an explanation to um, mutated dungeons, uh, the raid form format only works inside of dungeons. You'll only get XP in dungeons if you're on the raid format. If you are outside of it. If you're outside of a mutated dungeon in outside world farming, none of that farm will count towards uh, your XP or to a mission. So let's say if you need a boss and you kill that boss, that boss will not count for that quest since you're inside of a raid party. Keep that in mind. God, I need to hurry up and get to my uh, next sprite. So, what enemies drop my uh, level sixty-one sprite? Hold on, we gotta we gotta look that up. So, let's see. Uh, sprite. Instrument. Let's see, levels. Oh, level 66 this is where I have to be. Or I could be level 56. But level 56 also drops on the islands as well. Um, does it drop? Oh, nope. Level 66 sprites drop inside of knights. So I guess at this point, wouldn't I want to just keep leveling? I guess at this point, yeah, I would just keep leveling until I enter Knight's Valley. Because we still have no problem killing the outside monsters right now. For now. Ooh, got my other stuff? Yes, I am. That's why I'm not healing anymore.
Wait. Potion helper only helps with small tasks like using potions. Please remove other commands. Oh, I don't think it can use. Oh, this system is flawed. I don't think it can use um, improved potions. Oh, no, it, it can't use any. What? Is potion helper broken? Oh no, I think I think my bird was just causing it to break. Yeah, the bird was just causing it to break. So if my mount isn't there, it's it's gonna break. Okay, noted. Noted, noted, noted. It also explains why I wasn't healing in the in the dungeons as much too. <laughs> This is fine. Like I said, might be a little bit gonna out level that dungeon quite a bit to where it's gonna probably end up being green. But it is fine. You guys gotta think about reincarnation as well. I can always just go back and do that dungeon again. As long as I don't reach over level 70, I can still get the title for that for that dungeon. So I, I won't miss out on it. Uh, where is it you guys? No, it's you. Yeah, it's you. You, you guys have a terrible spawn rate if I remember correctly right yeah you do Eef. it's gonna be terrible for me to try and like fight certain bosses Especially if they run up on me and I can't use, like, my skill point skills. I think that's my main issue. I can't escape those bosses that just run me down. But it's, it's kind of like, after a while, I can escape them. But it's also ranged ones that are going to become the new issue. Because if the ranged ones start chasing me down, I say there's pretty much nothing I can do at that point. Except for uh, increase my armor. Okay, sir, can you come here? Ah, oh, goddamn, he died there. Let me guess, he dropped it there too. Actually, can't see you there. No, he didn't. Thankfully, I was like, I'm not willing to go all the way over there. The crazy thing is, um, most of the time you wouldn't want to delete a certain weapon, just because some weapons, um. Some weapons are still useful for their ability. So you guys probably won't see me delete my uh, speed bow just because of that 50% 50 50 attack speed. I'm probably going to hold on to that for a long time. Just because of it. No matter how little damage it does. I'm trying to get that proc. I will say this. Sometimes 50 seconds... Well, 20 seconds don't feel like 20 seconds inside of this game. It feels like 12 or freaking 10 seconds instead. Kind of makes you feel like the speeds are way more different than it should be. 
Sometimes. Not all the time, sometimes. God damn, that quest is all the way out there. What the fuck are you trying to send me, Narnia? Jeez. As long as we're not dying in the overworld, we are we are just fine. Honestly. Guess I can put this back on for the uh fifty percent range damage. Well twelve percent range damage. The only reason I didn't build the next like gear was because well the next like level fifty gear is just because it's terrible. And I'll say the end of the whole set is literally a skill that is locked behind reincarnation. Like it's a forty percent increase to quick shot, and quick shot is literally behind reincarnation. It's like why? Why is that a thing? Why are you giving me a gear set that has something I don't even have? I don't know, dude. Kind of stupid to me, but you know. Who the fuck is this? Close this. Close this. Close this. Close this. Close this. Oh, that's for the next area. Oh, okay. Wait, no? Is that for... What the fuck? Oh, it is. Small City of Mysteries is for the next area. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Uh, there are repeat quests open now. Wait, what does that repeat quest give? If it's a lot of goat, I might take it. Like, it's like four or five goat, maybe. Mm, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Not willing to be here that long, brother. I mean, if you would have chosen different enemies with better spawn rates, maybe. Maybe I would have done it, but no. No, I'm good. I'm fine on that. I try to be here all day. Now, if I was doing like a off-camera type of thing, then maybe I would, actually. I just realized my VTuber is broken. Oh, no, my camera just keeps increasing keeps moving for some reason. Okay, there we go. How long has it been? 30 minutes? And you guys didn't tell me? Like, what What the heck, man? How could you guys not tell me? No, it's, it's fine, guys. I, I fixed it by myself. And you guys didn't even say anything. That's crazy. Ugh. <laughs> All right, so how many more? Five more? Not only that, for this class, I'm not used to a class that just randomly gets skill points. That throws me off so much that there's a class that randomly gets skill points in the middle of each shot and I have to pay more attention to that. But the, here's the thing. I wish my skill shots were somewhere within my visible range because I that's why I never think about skill points. It's because they're not in a visual visual range. I wonder, is there a way to keep increase font? No, there isn't. That's if I could be able to increase UI. Ah, what the fuck, man. But if I was able to increase UI altogether, I feel like that would be great and I can actually pay attention to it. The only way to increase UI is if I decrease this. See that? That is a lot smaller and a lot more cramped. And I don't like that. And you guys are also seeing like the little colors and everything. There you guys go. Like, this looks weird. Not only that, it starts to get pixelized too. 
but I can see everything. <laughs> yeah, that that's terrible. I wish they would have added in like a UI increase for like bigger screens. Because it's it's not fun dealing with that. I mean I can also do this one. That one's just as terrible, not gonna lie to you. Because the more see more things are that are on your screen like this, the harder it is to deal with it. I don't know what to tell you, dude. It's absurd. It's a lot of features that I don't think they thought through at all. But then again, like I said, this is an old game, so I, I can't really hold hold them to it because the game's been out for like how many years now? Like ten years? And for a 10 year old game, there's just a lot of features that you're not going to have. Plus, it's on like a really old engine, too. That's another thing. Like, the old engine is probably keeping it, well, holding it back as well from being even better than they could be. Which sucks. Ranged defense. Hmm. Well, the thing is, damn, do I want to try and like. Because it, it makes me think, do I actually want to try and level up and go to the next job? Because I could end up farming to the point where I touch like level 70. <laughs> that could be an issue. Then I would have to save up gold some other way. No, actually, I wouldn't. Because I just thought about it. I would have, um, I would have to turn masteries up to 100 at that point. So I wouldn't have to level. So I'm good, actually. I was about to say no. Because <laughs> that farm is going to screw me over if I reach over uh, level 70. I actually don't remember what uh, Ancient City's title is, actually. But like I said, that that first enemy is uh, always absurd. It, it it will it will do a lot of damage very quickly, and especially since on hit, I'm pretty sure it decreased defense. But damage reflection is freaking absurd in this game. And the only way, like I said, to decrease it is through the most stupidest thing, and that is damage reduction. Damage reduction is this stat right here. I only have 6% damage reduction. So I'm taking, let's see, 94% of my attack. <laughs> that is being cut in half by like 30%. Because it only sends back 30% damage. That's still a lot of quick damage in, in like a short amount of time because you're getting hit and that enemy is doing like 2,000 damage but you're also killing yourself with like, <laughs> you know, 200 damage, 400 damage that's, you know, constantly ticking as fast as you're hitting. It wasn't an issue for Paladin, that's for sure. When I was playing a Paladin class, dude, I was I was tanking the hell out of that. I had no problems whatsoever. As a druid, no problems whatsoever because I would kill it with wolf wolf form before I even had a chance to do anything. 
plus Paladin and Druid, I just said, are two of the tankiest class in the game. Gorilla form is actually more nuts than it was, thanks to the rework. Where are the armored wild beasts over here? Yeah, they are. Oh, yeah, damn, you didn't even drop anyway. I know Necromancer can do it, because Necromancer has a pretty dam good damage output. Not only that, Necromancer has a hot Woo, has a lot of debuffs. Necromancer is a whole minion class. Which is very, I would say, is one of the most rarest thing in MMOs. Is a full dedicated, like, summon class. But just like um, Warlock, well, Shigami is the final form, well, final class of um, Necromancer, and Warlock is the final class for um, for um, Wizard. The thing is, Wizard and Shigami are get heavily cucked in a lot of areas because. They focus on more of magic damage reduction instead of like overall <laughs> overall damage reduction. They have magic reduction, never like full on damage reduction, which sucks. But I'm pretty sure, hopefully, correct me if I'm wrong, hopefully this is true. As long as you're dealing magic damage and that damage reduction is there don't doesn't magic damage reduction activate because here's here's what i'm trying to say where is it yeah so if i am using magic damage this should be activating so actually maybe they do have have some saving grace for themselves because I'm I'm thinking about overall like damage reduction because it should be changing to that typing it shouldn't be changing to anything else here and it should be calculating overall hmm huh. If anybody knows anything more about that, let me know. Because if that is the case, then maybe mages have a little bit more saving grace. Because I think people have been probably thinking about that and not seeing damage reduction in their kit. And have just not played them just because they never see it. Because I, it's rare as hell to see a warlock. That's for sure. Their kit is so feels like all over the place. Because you have a whole kit versus like each element. <laughs> like there's fire, there's lightning. Hold on, warlock. Ice. Fire. Yeah, all of these. Ice, fire, thunder. You have whole kits all together that deals with only ice, fire, and thunder. So, the main issue with mage is the fact that, like I said, you cannot tell what they're mostly affected by. It gives you no details. And some of the older X-Legend games, like 
in Eternal, they would have a symbol next to you to just be like, okay, this is more affected by this or more resisted by this. There's no way to get that information on any enemy. They don't tell you. It's kind of like you're just decreasing it out of just the faith of God and just saying, like, you know what? Yeah, this is what they're more affected by. Kind of wish they would. I hope like hell that they're going to rework that and show us this time what enemies are more resistant to because if they don't there would be no point in reworking mage because you're still going to run into the same issue again unless they're going to change their whole kit and remove the whole resistance thing and i don't see them doing that honestly i really don't see them doing that would i love to see them do it fuck yeah i would <laughs> Give me more detail. I like detail. I'm sure a lot of players like extra details. Because then you can tell your mage what to decrease. And that leaves a lot more like opportunities. Because I think in um, Eat Eternal, they had like weaknesses just to stun a boss. You know, they had the little gauge break thing. Uh, we don't have that inside of a... <laughs> Grand Fantasia. But it's nice to at least know, like, hey, this is this is strong for this. You should use this attack. This guy takes more damage from this. Okay, I can go fight this guy now. Okay, cool. Then I should level him. I uh, say you, you would think one of your. Um, I don't want to call mage the weakest class. They kind of are in a way, but after this free work, they may end up being the second weakest to archer for soloing. For soloing purpose is what I'm trying to say. For soloing purpose, they might be the weakest. Necromancer is still pretty strong in soloing. For what I've seen so far, they're they're still pretty strong. As long as you play around your minions and you know actually pay attention to what what effects are going on. Especially if you guys have misfortune on the boss, that that can rattle a boss pretty good. That's I didn't want to aggro on that boss. Well, not that boss, that uh, enemy. Be taking extra damage, you see? Taking extra damage! <sighs> but here's the hoping that they... that they do better. <laughs> Especially since after... the whole, um... Reworks, they're probably going to go straight back to everything and reincarnations and stuff like that. More than likely. Because as soon as they go back to those reincarnations, that could be a game changer for a lot of classes because who knows what, what new skills they can get, you know? I just got Machine Fortress. Yeah, you can stop that shit. I'm not doing that right now until I get my the rest of my gear. Machine Fortress is the is the real test of your patience. I will say that. Machine Fortress is not a joke. It is it will destroy players. I said that's the real test of your class and your knowledge of that class. I don't have I still don't have too much knowledge of the Ranger class yet. That's why I'm hoping that uh, Hawkeye will have a lot better skills that will actually put me to the test of that. No, not Hawkeye, Sharpshooter.
But the thing is, if you want raw damage, the the rifle is great for high damage in team fights. The bow is good, but at this point, everything's starting to kind of fall off just a little bit. This is what I'm what I want right now. But five seconds is absurd. Like what are these timers? What the fuck are these timers? Five seconds of a dummy? I think they're forgetting that our animations are way too long and not really cancelable like that. And then archers have to escape from that enemy to be able to use their skill as well. So I'm wondering how far the placement distance is. If the placement distance is not good, that can also be flawed as well. So I'm hoping the placement distance is actually decent. If it is like 12, if it is 12 range, oh yeah, within 12 range, no, that's within 12 range of the dummy. Mmm, but, <sighs> here's the thing, if the dummy resets taunt aggro, it is good for getting a panther out to take extra damage until I get my other dummy ready again during that time frame. So I can probably juggle that skill. Mm. That's the thing that I hate is these low timers off of skills that are very important. In a game where animations are everything. Like, this one skill takes like two seconds to do. So in the time span of me using one skill, that buff was only good for one skill. I say, the game's acting like we're preparing to... Like, every enemy has like a indication of what they're about to do. Not every enemy has an indication of what they're the fuck about to do. They just do it. <laughs> they're just like, oh, this big attack is randomly going to happen. It has a 20% chance. You better, you better watch out, motherfucker. <laughs> We're going to use this now. Oh, shit. This is a field boss. A rare monster. That could have been bad. I wasn't paying attention. But yeah, for me, I don't like how they're treating timers right now. Especially on the druid side. I, I think that's why I'm I'm like really annoyed about it. Is mostly because druid side, druid doesn't have any long buffs. Like their most important skills aren't long at all. But they'll let the the freaking uh, saints over there. The saints will have all their skills, you know. They still have their ten minute buffs, you know. You should have short shortened that to five. No. <laughs> like, why am I being targeted, dude? My class. What the fuck? No. <laughs> Traveler Merchant, hold on. See, I can start buying these, but the issue is, like I said, they, they're 
their high price for my like for like my level. Like I don't make enough of that just to be like, ooh, I can buy I can buy a chaos stone right now. Nobody will ever buy chaos stones at this level. Unless, like I said, they have a second character they're sending gold over from. If they're sending gold over from the extra character, they're gonna benefit from that much. But if you're a new player, there won't be a reason to buy it unless you're doing like a real hard dungeon and you know you have the resources to be able to do it. Welcome to Grand Fantasia, where even even the NPCs are jipping you. <laughs> I would say it's just time and patience, man. You just got to pick what skills you want to, like, you know, invest in. Patience. Patience is a huge thing. Because you can reincarnate immediately, or you can save your reincarnate. Reincarnation does make things a little bit easier every time. A little bit. Not a lot, though. I want that to be remembered that reincarnation does not help everything Oh, wow, you can barely tell these guys apart. I think that's another rare monster, isn't it? Okay, they're kind of you can kind of tell them apart. One of them is like a little bit more orange. That's an odd color scheme to go for. Oh yeah, this this is the boss we have to go after anyway. God, God damn it! Stop. I really wish you guys would have chose Assassin at this point. <laughs> I feel like I could do so much more with Assassin Kit than Ranger. God, Ranger is difficult. I would just say the learning curve of it is like very difficult. We're gonna have a lot of sprites we're gonna have to get rid of later on. So, um, I think for this run, I'm not gonna. Damn, I do have quite a bit of like sprite messenger. God damn it! I must say, I must say, I think this run I'm not gonna focus on sprite ranger fame. But now I'm sitting here like, damn, I already have five thousand. These right, yeah, one horde. There's only bloodthirsties around here, ain't there? Ah, that one didn't drop anything. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, here. Here's some of the one horns.
I don't think this area is going to be all that long, to be honest. I mean, the first few minutes were just... I guess limit testing, more than anything. Just understanding what the character, well, what the class can do with low, low rank gear. <laughs> Not very much until I can uh, get more stuff going. I think I have more B scrolls than I do have like A scrolls. I would like a whole bunch of A scrolls right now. Mate, can I actually kindly ask you to fuck off, mate? Thank you. Kind of makes me. This is kind of why I wish add-ons was it were a thing. Because who knows what a person can make? They can make like an add-on that you know tells you how many points you have. Or if you just gained a charge point. As soon as I know I gained a charge point, I'm gonna look at those uh, other skills. My brain doesn't process this. It tunnel visions these. I don't know why. I guess I could try and fix that. Who knows? Like light up. Light up skills equals go. But then again, my brain will see like, okay, all of them are light up. I could just use anything. <laughs> Wait, did you run out of stamina already? I oh, don't know, you just said fuck it. Oh no, I, did, I went on the mount. Why'd you run over there like you were going to pick it up? Oh shit, there's a lot over here. Uh, I think that's another rare boss. Could be a mission boss, who knows. So this map is going to be like very straightforward, just like one quest at a time type of situation instead of like, here's a quest here, here's a quest here, here's, here's like 10 different quests, three different quests, four different quests. Seems very tamed so far. A lot more tame than the other areas we've been at. Here's the sad part. I could start buying necklace here. That would get me up to level 65 already. Okay, that's a repeat quest. Oh yeah, we're, we're just going on linear quests now. Interesting. Then I'm going to be in the Turtle Mountain in Night Valley. Okay, it's going to be Night Valley next. After uh, these islands. Well, it's a good thing that um, pets don't just teleport back to you when you're inside of combat. Because a lot of games just like, oh, your pet's too far. Time to bring it to you. It's just like, no, why? Why would you do that? 
I'm in the middle of battle. Stop. Cease this behavior. Uh, let's see. This one. I'm going back to jail for this one. Or is this the next area? Okay, the pathing was just rude. Now he has a face on his butt. I didn't even realize. Bro literally has he has a literal butt face. That's crazy. <laughs> Look at my little jumps, dude. My little chicken jumps. I was wondering if he was fighting something. Bagel is fighting nothing. I'm pretty sure Bagel's stuck somewhere. <laughs> oh, hey, Bagel. How are you doing? Let's go. Oh, I think it is. Okay, yeah. The butt face uh, spider is our is a quest. Cease this activity. Stop attacking me. I was about to say, where the hell did he go? Bagel attack. Now. God, I hate this. I gotta run away and find a perfect angle to use this skill. Oh, and oh, I forgot. There are enemies that have, like... Okay. God damn it. There we go. Jeez. There are enemies that have slow. Forgot about that. Jesus. I could have died in Overworld. That would have sucked. But then again, I clicked on Bagel by mistake, apparently. God, I hate this HUD. This HUD is so fucking terrible. How long did that fucking poison last? Jesus. I'm hoping they ch start changing like just a drastic amount of stuff after these re reworks. Because I got to tell you, man, like, Eden Eternal has been pumping out updates, freaking, um, what was it, uh, 
Astral Tales is pumping out updates. All of these other X Legend games are just pumping out updates left and right. I mean, but you also we also got to think about it that they have like I'm pretty sure there's a version of Astral Tales and Eat Eternal up still. I think it was Thai the Thailand version of the servers. So they're probably doing catch up from that as well. Could be. I don't know. I don't keep up with uh, excellent games that close down, actually. Damn. I was about to say, damn, Bagel, you've been through some stuff, haven't you? But you just randomly attacked that dude. <laughs> Maybe hit you first. Maybe it was self-defense. Okay, that one wasn't self-defense. Murder him now. <laughs> God, I can't get wait to get my gear increase. Gonna be a freaking lifesaver. Now then there's this person who's um hold on. Then you have people like this who are selling uh crafting as well. Those craftings are really expensive, remember that. I want that to be known that those craftings are very expensive. But if you need somebody within that level, so you don't have to grind all the way up to level one hundred crafting, that that's a great way to get your stuff. Just saying. Okay, so now we gotta go all the way back. Okay. We need stuff for the living armors anyway. Are they still within level? Okay, they're not green just yet. Hopefully I don't get the green when I get to level 66. That would suck. That would so suck. But I do think after this island, we will be level 66. Oh, well, level 65 to where we get our job changed to sharpshooter. Oh damn, I, I didn't even realize that this was a very far walk. I guess we'll make some banter on the way there. Um We were bantering actually. Um Master Yapping coming into play. So here's the thing. I I don't know. <laughs> It, it really depends on like what skills will be available for a sharpshooter that I might keep playing this class. <laughs> it's... Mm, I, I always avoided range classes in most games because of the whole, hey, I'm in your face, you can no longer use this skill trope. And I always hated it. <laughs> I hated it so freaking much. And inside of Grand Fantasia, you can't really do that often unless you have, like, groups. How are you at half HP? Excuse me? There you go. But it's kind of like, it's difficult to find groups without them charging you. Because the gold economy is very shit in the game right now. If you're going to find somebody to play with... They're going to charge you. 
No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Some people will help you out of out of just helping you. I mean, so guildmates will help you for free now and now and then, but a lot of strangers on the game will charge the hell out of you just for like a simple run. Hey, I need help clearing this. It's how much are you willing to pay? This is why players learn to solo. Then get their main character up high enough to be able to make, you know, a better character with or at least like search out another class that fits them. But most of the time they end up finding that, you know, their main character that they leveled up on, you know, their first character and don't feel like making another character at all is why you don't see too many players like out here leveling I mean you'll see occasionally some of them most of them but not a whole bunch whoops not that like you'll see more people in the world chat but they won't be like you know in higher level areas But I will say this, questing has gotten a lot better, but the main flaw of the game are the sprites, which have not gotten better at all. That's why I feel like the flaw comes in, is your problem are the sprites. The sprites system is meh. Just something's very off with them. So I'm kind of hoping that they, they're not going to rework sprites, so I can't even say rework sprites. Kind of hoping they make sprites easier. I feel like that's the more realistic. That's the more realistic uh, thought behind that. Because I love sprites, the sprite system, to a degree, to a degree I like it, but at the same time, I also mostly hate it. I, like, I just feel like it should follow your level or shouldn't have like such a deep XP sink. Because it takes too, way too long to max out a sprite to level 100 and you out level it like very hard. I don't know. I've talked about it before. It's pretty meh. Pretty meh. Wait, was that the right thing or was it the wrong thing? There's a lot box. Oh, I think that's a mission. Oh, it's you. And that's a lot of those quests done.
man, sprite farming is not going to be fun. That's all I can tell you. Sprite farming is never fun. It's, it's such a low drop rate. Like, they're insanely low. Like, out of these guys, I'm pretty sure they drop a sprite, right? No, they don't. What's what's a what's a mod that drops a sprite? Ah, oh, yeah, there's one. So you would what? What? Oh, ew, ew, oh. You'll have a bigger, like, chance of getting... Okay, I don't know why you changed transform into that. But you'll have a bigger chance of getting the stupid seeds. Like, if I were to fight these goats, I would have a bigger chance of getting these unknown seeds. And these unknown seeds are only used for guild activities. I'll have a bigger chance of getting these meats, too. I have a bigger chance of getting armor. <laughs> I have a bigger chance of getting B defense rolls. Now I could farm it right now and I wouldn't even get get the drop I'm looking for. Damn, look at that. How much XP am I getting? Wow, that chunk isn't like too bad too. Like if I was actually sit here and farm these guys, it it probably would end up end up being exactly as I said to where I would probably end up farming until I like level. Purple chests barely pop up too. That's another thing you're going to be fighting against. You fight against the purple chest dropping, and you're also fighting against the RNG of the purple chest. But I don't even know the percentage of the chest either. It'd be nice if they, you know, told us the percentage of it. But no way in hell they're going to do that. Man, this is gonna suck. I've I've wiped out the population of this area, by the way. I just want that to be known. <laughs> That's my chance, ladies ladies and gentlemen. That is my chance. It all relies on these goats. Or inside a valley. I feel like I'll have a better chance on these goats because they're all one one thing and not just multiple like this one over here oh that's a that's a rare monster never mind but they're all the same mob none of them are mixed in with like secondary mobs or anything i think this will be the best place to actually get you know a better better one hmm i might come back to that who knows It really depends on like how the valley's like looking on their mobs. I guess I can check that right quick. Uh, the valley, yetis and bandits. Ooh, those already sound like low drop rates. Let's look at the yetis and and see how they're laid out. Yetis, for fuck's sakes, yetis are out of the question. <laughs> Uh, let's look at, um, nah, those aren't it. The gunmans. The gunmans, there they are. Dear God, okay, dude. All right, brother. 
So I would have to loop through here, then kill those, loop all the way back. Because by the time I get there, they'll be respawned. Okay. Uh, the werewolves. The werewolf warriors, right? Yeah. Werewolf warriors are not looking promising either as little group. God, that's terrible. This is just for the bow mage. The bow and mage armor. Like, such a terrible layout. And, um... It's suffering. Holy sh... Ooh, brother. That is a whole lot of suffering. So, snow... Snow bird. Hopefully this was better. I don't know. But... But no, actually, this is a lot better because I can go through here, then come through here. So that's actually a little bit better. Terrible, but still better. And apparently there's a boss that drops it too. Which is this. All the way over there. Mm -hmm. Damn, do I really want the bow? Or do I want to just... <sighs> if I had dark sprites... I feel like I can buy some dark sprites. That would actually be good too. Dude. Mmm. The sprites wasn't such a low drop rate. I don't think I don't think this would be too much of an issue either. <laughs> I don't think there would be many complaints from me. As much as there is. But I just think the sprite system should be re-looked at. Because there has to be an easier way. There has to be an easy way to change it to where it it actually, like, you know, doesn't make the game, like, extremely freaking difficult. Like, the grinding phase wasn't even the issue because we had, like, stuff like Burning Kazlau. That gets you up to level 100, like, pretty easily if you knew what you were doing. If you had a good class that had a decent AoE and stuff like that. Good AoE and good not getting stunned. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Hmm. I don't know, Dark Sprite, like... Emblems don't pop up too often either. Dark Sprite chests are... Not very, very common. Those drop like... I don't know. Every... Probably like every hundredth kill. Is what it feels like. Or every fiftieth kill. It's right between those. You have like a good chance of getting one. But that's a lot of killing. Not gonna lie to you. Also, I gotta make... Ammo again. Wait, is this sanctuary? Pretty sure these are sanctuary uh, power drops. I haven't checked. You there. Oh no, these are lost powers. Uh, these are actually useless for me. Not sanctuary. What am I thinking of? But once I get my gear up to date, I think I'll be a lot happier. <laughs> but at this point, it feels like I should just go to level 70. But I would also miss out on that title. Well, actually, I technically wouldn't miss out on that title if Reincarnation, you know, comes into play. But, mm, I don't know, man. I just don't know. Because like I said, I can prepare my character for reincarnation by making those yellow weapons. Through this character. Because there's no point in like reincarnating like right away. 
Like as soon as I hit level 66, it's just like, oh, it's time to reincarnate. It's like, no. My god, somebody else is uh actually grinding. What level are you? Oh, you're about the same level as me. And you're no, no, never mind, that's an 82. I cannot see my NPC. Your mouth is big. Your you and your little mouth's big head. But like I always say, Scorpio Mount, best mount in the game. <laughs> the best combat mount in the game. I'll always tell you guys, if you see a Scorpio Mount, grab it. Because it decreases so much animation time. That is the only way you're going to really enjoy your lives, is that animation decrease. I'm really hoping there's a lot more skills I could just cast in front of enemies' face instead of just these two. Because these two actually go on a long timer. And there's a. I don't have any slowdown skills, which is another little thing that I hate too. And I haven't seen anyone sell um, the runestone cage either. Like, the cage runestone would be freaking fantastic right about now. But nobody sells it. It's crazy. Because that cage runestone is... Will decimate, like, any, um... Any melee bosses with no uh, range abilities. It will decimate it. Because... Those runestones can work on bosses. Sadly, I don't think I have a need for the transformation uh, transformation runestone. But I'm thinking about it now. What's on the table, actually, for the original? Nothing good, to be honest. Except for that, that 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 could be good. Will I get it? Probably not. RNG's a bitch. <laughs> I will say this: the mods of the game. Or, I guess, the, the staff of the game really don't interact with players anymore. The GMs, that's, or the CMs, whichever one they were. They really don't interact with the game as much as I, like, see. No, they're CSs, aren't they? I think they're CSs. I say there's no GMs on, on the game at all. Which is, like... That's, that was a great thing back then. Grand Fantasia had like all this like cool GM events to where you can fight a GM, you know, have some special rewards. We had like a whole bunch of GM interactions. Like it was fun, like interacting with the developers, but I don't think that's much of a thing anymore. Not only that, I don't do they even have a forum still? I want no the it would be Discord. It would actually just be Discord now. I don't think they have an actual forum. Reputation forum. No, they don't have an like an actual like traditional forum anymore. So it would be Discord. Discord is their form of a forum. Yeah. Yeah. Edge.
I say like, the oldest contractor, like I see like very old content creators who've just like completely <laughs> stopped Grand Fantasia without any any says or reasons why. Which is kinda kinda interesting to me. I was like, damn, they would normally give reasons as to why they would uh why they would quit. It's like most of them just like, nope, I'm just out. I'll say most of their journeys stop like most of the, like content creators who do like playthroughs or Grand Fantasia stop around like the earlier parts of the game. It's either before they start um It's either before they start their first dungeon or after they start their first dungeon or they get to at least level 50 or near level 50. None of them finish it out and I, I kind of understand why since most of the game is very um, sprite focused. And I don't think that's going to change at all. I was like, like I said, the sprite system is cool and all, but it's unique. But it's also a hassle. It's a very big hassle. Just as big as this guy. I say another thing that I, that's actually screwing me over is my uh, talents. I still don't have my stuff for that. I need to start focusing on that too. My idiot self. But then again, the thing that comes into play is gold again. So I say gold is the issue to that because I can have like a lot of my combos like prepared right about now, but gold. I can get an attack speed like combo, that would be great. I do need to start looking into combos and seeing what. Whoa, I was about to say, did that not give me that kill? It took a while for that message to pop up. But I think I'll figure out something. I say it's time to start upgrading ourselves. Why are you hiding in the grass? You think I don't see you? Stupid. <laughs> Does alchemy count? No, I didn't think alchemy did. Wait, where the hell are the vanguards? Oh, the vanguards are all the way over there? Jeez, bro. It's a long walk. I shall use bird. I cast sunbird. Face his foot. Please don't attack me, dude. I'm just trying to chill and live my life, and you're causing violence in my life. Alright, dude. Everybody has to stop this violence. We all can't cast violence, alright? What's worse, you can be... You can be hit out of those uh, channel abilities. So you gotta kinda figure out where you wanna actually like, use that skill. Uh, the channel abilities are pretty cool. I still think that meteor range should be multiple people, but you, but you know what, A. Hey, tis what it is, you know? You know? Oh, it is you. Same model as I was thinking it was. Can you fucking not my personal space?
Damn, dude, you instantly came for me. Okay, ah, uh, I hate that so much. I wish I could just pick where I want to teleport. I feel like that would be a lot easier. Oh, oh my god, they're going to make me walk all the way across the map again. I will say this. The missions feel shorter, but the, the travel time is still always long. Let's see. They're not gonna walk all the way back. You know what? Too fucking lazy. Can't be asked. Oh, I am a cop. Oh, fucking bagel. I was like, can you fucking not, mate? That walk is fucking insane. Wow, your worst nightmare. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. I'm about to say, bitch, I am not that level. Nice try. Alright, now that mission's done. Um, travel back all the way back here because we're we're not doing that long travel. I guess we should start making some exceptions, okay? Huh? Oh shit. Well, hold on. There we go. That made one room. Now two rooms. There we go. Fantastic. Easy, easy. Hey, I forgot. I have to. Hey. Come on, do your job. You're not in the mood. You little shit. You haven't done anything. Get out of here. Get out here now. Go get it. Are you... It's inside of the tree. I saw it go inside of the tree. I gave nothing? What the... F okay. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Apparently, there was stuff that came out, and then we just can't reach it. Okay. All right. Terrible placement. Terrible. Terrible drop. Maybe I shouldn't have summoned my sprite. Maybe I should have just grabbed it all myself. <laughs> Either that or increase sprite's grab range, like, tremendously. Like, as soon as they get to a certain level, they just get, like, a AoE, like, sucking ability. They just suck in all the loot. That'd be... That'd be great. But you know what we're not gonna get? Exactly that. 
That's how psychopaths are made, thinking these ideas, you know? Am I missing? Okay, yeah, I was about to say, am I missing one more? I remember this area. Don't these rabbits stun? sure these rabbits stun. Okay, I need yellow rabbits. Just realized. That ah, goddamn it. Ah. I don't know, dude. These in the inventory is oh my god, all magic? Are you kidding me? I guess this is around the time I should be buying my, uh, my bags, because I have, like, 300 gold. I guess I should start investing in the bags, the 10 space bags. How much would that be? Oof. Oof. I gotta say, I didn't, I didn't realize how small those bags were. I was kind of hoping we would have got, you know, some more bags as we play through, but, you know, I guess they didn't change too much of the rewards, except for just giving you gotcha chests. That's the sad part is that that's exactly what they are, gotcha chests. <laughs> oh my god, they're going to make me teleport all the way over there again. You son of a bitch. I'm not walking that distance. You can you can eat me. I refuse. I swear to god if you put it okay, I was about to say. I swear if you put them all the way over there, we're gonna fight. Okay, okay. I'm willing to walk that distance, not the other ones. Oh, well, damn, there's a lot of goats here. Jesus Christ, are you guys all the same one? You are? Wait a minute. How many of these goats are there? <laughs> okay. I will be farming the goats. Instead of um, the valley, I will I will gladly get those pets up, not the pets, those sprites up to level 70. Because that's a way bigger rate than trying to go after the, after the ones that are separate inside of a nice valley. Oh my god, you want me to get 12 of these? Jesus Christ, brother. I don't know why I killed that owl. I mean, he was just... He was probably just in the fucking way. You, you guys drop one? Oh, you drop hunting. I don't want that. Not like you guys are going to drop that shit anyway. I mean... Oh, you guys give... Uh, you give staff and relic. Great. Those will make good money if you want to drop them. Other than that... They really do nothing for me. Something tells me I'm not going to get any of those.
If I could have a nice purple chest, that would be great. No? Okay. I'll take my blue bag and just go this way, then. Excuse me. Alright, I'll take exactly nothing from that. I will say this. If the dummy taunts enemies that aren't aggroed on all into a group, that would be amazing, first off. If it does that, then I will be interested in playing this class a lot more. Because the amount of gather up that would actually give is insane. If it doesn't, then it's, then it's just a worthless skill other than just getting the enemy off you. I, I still want to see how much it actually like taunts. I need to know all the mechanics I can do it. Can I just... Does the taunt like reset the enemy? Can I just like stop halfway? And it just gives me, you know, reset aggro and I can just have my panther take the aggro back after a while? Or does it go for the second threat? Because if it goes for the second threat, that's sad. It's very sad for me. I wish the dummy lasted for at least 10 seconds at least. But, hey, I can... They're not thinking about, like, solo. They're thinking about, like, players playing together. Which, I don't think they've realized that a lot more players solo than they do play with each other. But I, I, well, actually, no, I can't say that because in game content, you actually do need people. But some people have figured out how to solo those in game things with how they've built and everything. Only place I would say you would need um, skills like that is, um, is this. Spire. That that's the only place I would think you would need like groups of group abilities. And even that's risky to go into because if your character doesn't have like good uh damage reduction, you're gonna be dying a lot and your teammates are gonna be carrying the hell out of you and having to deal with you dying or reviving. Cause some some of those like teams that show up inside of here don't carry a mage. Well, don't carry a healer. I don't even know what the hell is in here. Yeah, there's there's a ranger inside of this one. And there's a machinist inside of this one. Well, probably Mechmaster, isn't it? No, there's an engineer. There's an engineer class inside of that one. Not many people do these at low level. Funny enough. They normally do them at the high level. But if you want the, like, the titles from them, it is good to do like the stuff early. I just never do them because I've... I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I've always been the solo type when it comes to like these games just because I like to see if I can challenge myself to beat them solo. It's just under like a class that I ha that I like. It has to be a class that I like. If I don't like the class, I definitely won't even attempt it if they don't have a class that interests me a lot. Everything has a lot of classes that interest me. It's just building them up is the issue. Or finding the motivation to start from zero. <laughs> I guess that would be the case. Because you don't really get any good rewards from like... For like... Starting a new character. Like when I finally use this... This level 7 beginner card won't transform into like a better card. That's it. As soon as you hit level 30, that's all that card gives you. You don't get any more rewards from that. Nothing else good. 
Why other other X Legend games give you like this whole like package to where it will carry you all the way up to in game and give you rewards. Good rewards. I forgot which game it was. I think it was uh, a Warrior Kingdom that gave you a an actual like really good um level up um chest. Well no, was it chest? I think it was. But it was like a level up pack. It's like every time you got every ten levels, it would give you like some extremely good rewards. That's why I ended up playing like War Kingdom all the way up until like level 100. I think I have a level 100 like Grim Reaper. Not Grim Reaper, uh, Necromancer. Whichever one that, whichever's the one that uses the sword. <laughs> but then I stopped using that one and started making like a, whichever the one the Great Sword was. that class was actually like extremely fun it had a lot of tanking abilities it's actually really good for solo to be honest okay now i need the purple ones Oh, crap, that's a repeat quest? I didn't even realize. But, anywho, um... Bring this up. But I'm looking forward to seeing what future holds... What future holds, uh... Grand Fantasia. Just because, like I said, a reincarnation... Well... Reincarnation 2 could come right afterwards. Or, like, more dungeon, more content, stuff like that could, could come over. But I'm mostly interested is, like, how are they going to do better equipment, better stats for Reincarnation 2? Will there be Reincarnation 2 exclusive gear? Or would there be Reincarnation 2, like, exclusive potions, stuff like that? Will they even do that? I don't think they will. I think reincarnation one potions are going to be the only thing. It's like, what more will you guys add for that? Okay, here, here's the, the little storyline that I think you need. Um, I think it's on, yeah, I think it's on you, right? Why well, you need all the necklaces, right? Oh, no, that doesn't even show up yet. I think it has to be like finishing one of these quests, something like that. Uh, but we got to go here. Turn this. Oh, well, what am I doing? We should end off the video before I go into like like five hours or so. Uh, this video's been over. I've just been yapping, dude. Master yapper, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it bees like that sometimes. But hopefully, you guys enjoyed. I will uh, start up the next video, and in that video, we will be level 65, guaranteed. With that said, I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.